first thing sold today was a copy of Hitman Trilogy. It's a three disc trilogy box set. Um, picked that up for in a big bulk buy from actually a friend of mine. Tom, if you ever happen to watch this, appreciate it, man. I saved about half of them. The rest I made some good money on. Um, but games, always a great seller. Easy ship, easy to list. Those are the best. Next thing we sold is a set of, turn these around so you can see them, uh, Pyrex. They say these are mustard yellow, but they look orange to me. So, but in the listing, mustard yellow in my hand, I say orange, but it doesn't matter to me. It matters to who's buying it. It's supposed to be mustard yellow. We're calling it mustard yellow. Uh, Pyrex is, oh, these are not Pyrex. These are Corning, which Corning, Pyrex, uh, Corel, they're all owned by the same company. So, yes, I'm wrong. I'm also still kind of right. Kind of. Eh, you know. Uh, but all three of those are good sellers. I don't like to ship glassware in the winter because of where I live. It can get very, very cold. And when you start getting below freezing, these things become more fragile, especially if they're going from a warm vehicle to a cold place back and forth something or your carrier just tosses them about so pack glassware extra delicately um, in the cold months more than you already would for anything breakable next thing I sold is this big mamma jamma it's not heavy it's just real big this is a Mr. Christmas musical carousel uh, for your Christmas villages or what have you, or just in its own decoration. Um, I picked up three from the same brand for 40 bucks each. This one sold for the least, but the other two were really good profit. Um, I'm glad to be selling this after Christmas because if it didn't sell now, I mean, I'd just be sitting around with this huge, you can see, reference huge box for many many months so I'm glad somebody picked that up um, next thing I sold is one of my favorite things to sell because people think they're worthless but they're not uh, it is a Panasonic PV4611 but VCRs DVD VCRs regular VCRs, pick them up, test them out. Most cases, you just gotta clean them when they don't work, but really good profit margins on the VCRs. Next, the soon to be bane of my existence. Um, I bought way too many phones and now I have buckets and buckets of phones to sort and go through that I've just been procrastinating, but that is one of my next projects, so that will be coming up soon. If anybody has any tips on how to do that quickly, or if you want to buy a bulk lot of phones to resell yourself, I will give you a screaming deal, um, but a VTech uh, corded phone with uh, an additional charger and uh, cordless phone goes with it but phone systems actually you know offices people still have house phones you don't really see them in the store very often or if you do you know you'd rather buy them for a discounted price um, so you can pick them up for pennies and resell them for a good amount of money I'm gonna pack these up and then we will check out my thrift store haul all right everything boxed up except the VCR, bubble wrapped, ready to go. If I can get an angle of it, new to camera work. Um, but I need a box for that out of my storage, which I will get tomorrow or the next day. Yeah, it's a weekend. Um, get that box up and get the rest shipped out. Now, let's check out my thrifting haul. Okay, everything's packed up. Now, my favorite part the shopping. I think it's everybody's favorite part, even though, you know, you make money from the selling. I think the buying is the best part. So first off, um, I 
So, first off, got a dying battery. Um, Goodwill, got two uh, Incor, Incor, not sure. Um, one sauce pot, one big cooking pot. These uh, three ply stainless steel pots and pans, especially vintage, uh, American made. This is actually five ply. I don't even know that was a thing. I gotta look into that. Um, but good money, but I like it because it's super easy to ship. Can't hurt it, throw it in a box. Don't gotta use a bunch of packing. I usually still bubble wrap a little bit, a little packing paper or something maybe, just so it looks good when it comes in. Also really easy to clean. Um, some barkeeper's friend and a rag, most of it comes off. Um, but especially shipping in the wintertime, like I was saying, I used to do a lot of Pyrex and Corel and Corning, which I still do, but I limit it to stuff that makes really good money um, because lots of breakage in the winter. It gets really cold and, you know, when you're in sub-zero temperatures, shipping glassware is a, is a hairy situation. So that was all I found at Salvation Army, um, but still some decent profit there. Then at Goodwill, it was pretty good at the Goodwill. Uh, again, lots of stainless steel. Um, no lids, not a single lid. So lids, they bring up the value, but there's still value with no lids. So first off, we got a Revere copper bottom, um, four quart saucepan, Revere's a good brand. Um, then we have a Revere Ware, um, can't really tell what it is here. It's pretty war and my eyesight is terrible, but a Revere Wear um, frying pan. And then move on to here. I uh, paid $3.99 for the saucepan, $4.99 for the frying pan. Uh, the Incor stuff, I paid $4 each for those. Uh, and then we got a Farberware aluminum clad. Also good. Farberware is a popular brand and not all of it has value um, in the secondhand market, but the ironclad stuff, definitely. And again, it's just really easy to ship, really easy to clean. So even this one that's pretty mucked up, um, that'll take me a minute maybe to clean. Uh, so that's $3.99 for that one. Then I got a lot. I wish they had had the lids, but uh, RenoWare, three ply. There was a whole set of these. $3.99 each, and I got one, two, three, four, five of them in various sizes, uh, but not a single lid. I actually sold a lid for one of these that I got somewhere else about a week ago. So sometimes that happens out. You buy a lid at one place, you buy a pan at the other, put them together, makes you better money. Uh, big score at the Goodwill, if it works, is this Sanyo, uh, let's see, we got a model number, Sanyo... RM5011. It's a flip clock. If you see flip clocks, vintage clocks in general, you can make some good money, but the flip clocks, the clocks, the one that flip clops, flip flops, flip clocks, the ones that flip around, that's where the money's at. So uh, I'll have to double check, but I, I want to say it was around 80 bucks if this is working. Um, I'm going to attempt. This is my first video. So hopefully there's a thing right here and try to figure that out. If not, I'll just pause so it's funny. Well, um, but yeah, so if that works, that's the big score right there. I paid $3.99 for that guy. Um, next at the Goodwill, picked up a Lidstrom Detroit Red Wings um, Team Sweden hat. I couldn't find any comps for this, but I found some other Team Sweden stuff uh, that seemed to be okay money. And worst case scenario, this will be mine. I live in Michigan. I'm a Red Wings fan. Lidstrom's the man. I might just keep that. Also, because of where I live, Boyne Mountain. It's a ski resort around here. Uh, but this is new. Uh, $2.99 for this. I should make around $10 on it, but maybe not even that. But anything new with tags. Easy to ship. Easy to list. Uh, I, I can have a dollar or two profit if it's new. I'm willing to do that. Next up, there was a digital scale. This... I could resell it and make four or five bucks, but I think just having another scale, I have three, but if you do resale, more scales is better because it's you're trying to find one, you're going to the place where there is one, just have them all over your house. It makes your life easier. 
this was interesting because prices were everywhere. This is a talking whiz kid. Paid $6.99 for that. And for just the whiz kid, they only sell for about $10-15 bucks. But it seems that the cards is where the money's at. So I'm hoping um, hoping this works, because that's always the thing. But with Goodwill, you can actually return stuff that doesn't work. Salvation Army, at least mine, it's as is. If you buy something, doesn't matter how much you paid for it, doesn't work. You shouldn't have bought it. It's your own fault, I guess. Whatever. But the Goodwill is great. I'll buy five or six VCRs, bring them home, test them out, bring them two back, and they, it's like they're using me as their tester. They can just, I tell them all the time, just just call me. I'll pick them up and test them for you. Don't waste your time. Now, this was also there. This is a new Wilson Quicksand Volleyball, $4.99. Um, probably won't sell anytime soon because it is January 1 and it is cold. And not a lot of people hitting the beach to play volleyball, but maybe indoor. I don't know if it's different because quicksand, I assume, beach volleyball, but they're probably the same ball. I'm not an athlete. Who knows? Do you know? And then last on the list is this big heavy guy. And I, like I said, I don't like to send glassware in the winter, but when the profit's there, I'll do it. This is a Pampered Chef Rock Croc, four quart. Paid seven bucks for that at the Goodwill. I hate how they package stuff with tape. Drives me crazy. Like, just get some shrink wrap. It costs the same amount of money. And then I don't have to clean tape off of everything. So I don't know why. I suggested to them. I even once told the manager I would buy them some. She laughed. I was very serious. It would save many hours of my day if they didn't tape anything in their store. So that's my haul. Uh, hit up the Goodwill and the Salvation Army. Tried to go with the Habitat for Manatee, but in my town, the they're not all open all the time. Like the the good Goodwill is is open six days a week. The Salvation Army is open five days a week. I think it's Tuesday through Saturday, and then the Habitat I think is only open four days a week or something like that. I don't know, but it's small town. They got to do what they got to do. That's okay. I'll work around them, but. Since it's a small town, they all know me. Every once in a while, there's a thing sitting to the side, like, hey, Drew, thought you might like this. Um, so it works out. Uh, so I'll get all this cleaned up. Hopefully, all of it listed today probably won't happen because it's about, check my fake watch, uh, it's about 5 o'clock on a Friday, and it's family night. So I'm going to watch Soul with the family and eat some pizza. So I guess that'll be all. Uh, if you like this, this is my first video. Um, my editing, camera work, all that stuff, I'm sure it will get better. Hopefully I upload this. Maybe I recorded this and it never goes anywhere. But if you liked it, subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends, and then hopefully there's another one.